Hey YouTube! I'm back with another crypto project, today we are going to analyze details related to Holo, in the video description you can check all the project links. Before we start a little disclaimer, this is not going to be any investment advice, my job is to seek and present you with a review of projects, you should always do your own research before investing. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell so you don't miss any updates. What is Holo? Holo is a peer-to-peer -peer distributed platform for hosting decentralized applications built using Holocane, a framework for developing dApps that does not require the use of blockchain technology. The goal of Holo is to serve as a bridge between the broader internet and apps built using Holocane, offering an ecosystem and marketplace in which dApps are easily accessible, as they are hosted on the internet by Holo network participants. Who are the founders of Holo? Holo was founded by Arthur Brock and Eric Harris Braun, both of whom are experienced contract coders. The two first started working on the project in December 2016 as a part of the MetaCurrency project, a developer of tools and technology designed to power a future peer-to-peer -peer economy. Holo was partially modeled after Scepter, a cooperative peer-to-peer -peer framework for dApps that the two had previously worked on. Brock has prior experience coding alternative currency systems as the founder of GeekGene, a company that developed community building tools, including more than 100 alternative currency solutions. He also co-founded Social Enterprise Incubator Emerging Leader Labs and founded open-source education starter Kit Agile Learning Centers. In March 2019, Brock was named a fellow of the New Zealand-based Edmund Hillary Fellowship. Harris Braun started programming full-time in 1988 and is the founder of Glassbead Software, a developer of peer-to-peer -peer communication software, as well as co-founder of Emerging Leader Labs alongside Brock. In 2003, he co-founded Harris Braun Enterprises, a freelance software development and consulting firm. He has also served on the advisory board of the Schumacher Center for New Economics. What problems does Hollow attempt to fix? Hollow was built from the ground up to tackle multiple issues currently facing the market. For one, it eliminates centralization. The unique technical structure of the network ensures a balance is maintained between freedom and accountability for users. This concept of mutual sovereignty enables the network to remain secure while also providing a plethora of services to users. Regarding features and benefits, in a generic way, we can summarize as follows. Lightweight, Holocane requires very little computing power. Interoperable and service provider agnostic. Individuals can maintain the ability to change from one electricity buyer to another if the terms are more favorable. Built-in sovereign identity, participants retain full control of their identity data and all data stays within the community. Zero fees, in contrast to blockchain, the network charges no processing fees. Built-in privacy and self-sovereign identity, participants retain full control of their identity data, and all data stays within the community. Interoperable, local apps can be designed for interoperability with international organizations, nonprofits, and marketplaces. Immutable records, agents control what records they expose, but it is not possible to undo a transaction. Low IT burden, the users of the infrastructure, which reduces server setup and maintenance costs. Before demonstrating the step-by-step -step of how an app on the Holocane works, we must understand three concepts. Individual agency. A Holocane app is different from what you're used to. It starts with individual agency, you run your own copy of the app, your identity and data live on your machine, and nothing happens without your consent. Each piece of data you create is signed with your unique key and stored in your personal journal. Shared rules. At the core of the app is a collection of rules that define what valid data looks like. Because each one of you has a copy, you can all hold each other accountable. The rules become a social contract. Bad actors get identified impartially, and news of their actions travels fast. Soon they find themselves on the outside of the group. Mutual sovereignty. Because every user of the app has the same powers and responsibilities, a balance is maintained between freedom and accountability. We call this mutual sovereignty. It's what makes the app function securely, even though there's no server in the middle to enforce the rules. A Holocane app, step by step. Bob installs the core of application 1, called a DNA, into his Holocane runtime. The DNA contains functions for writing and accessing data, connecting with peers, and validating data. On application startup, Holocane creates a source chain, a journal for all the data Bob's DNA will create. This journal is a hash chain, a cryptographically tamper-evident data structure. Each entry in the journal is signed by his private key. At the beginning of the source chain is the fingerprint of the DNA, this shows that Bob's computer has seen the rules and agrees to abide by them. 
After the DNA fingerprint comes an optional membrane proof. For applications that restrict membership, this journal entry shows that Bob is allowed to join the network. It can be an invite code, proof of dues, or a vouch signed by an existing member, whatever the application needs to protect itself. After the membrane proof comes Bob's agent ID. This is the public complement of his private key, and it serves as both his unique identifier in the network and a means of verifying the signatures on his journal entries. After writing these first three entries, Bob tries to join the application's peer-to-peer -peer network. He publishes his first three journal entries to the network's distributed hash table, DHT. If his peers determine that they're valid, they admit him into the network. Bob's peers in the network also have their own copy of the DNA with their own agent ID and source chain. Bob starts using the application, writing application data to his source chain. Public data is shared to the DHT to be validated and stored, while private data stays on his device. Bob and all his peers maintain their own DHT shard, containing copies of a small, random portion of all the public data that's been published. Bob's DNAs can bridge to each other to share functionality and data. Each DNA has its own separate network, and access is controlled by a consent-based capability security system. Charting the future of Holocane While the Holocane technology is impressive, it's unclear whether the market is ready for it. Most people barely understand what blockchain is, how can you expect them to get their heads around an alternative like Holocane? But on the other hand, early adopters are looking for a viable alternative to the blockchain or the next phase of its evolution, and Holocane is one of the few protocols to really tick these boxes. Getting involved now could put you ahead of the pack. Remembering that this video is not an investment tip or a promise of easy or quick gains, we only introduce reliable and trusted projects to you. If you liked the video and found something interesting then please like, share and leave a comment, your feedback is very important to us.